Is engineering going to make you rich? Before we answer that question, we have to define what is engineering and what is being rich? Does being rich mean making like 100k a year? Does it mean having like a million dollars in the bank? And likewise, when we're talking about engineering, what exactly is it that you're referring to? Are you referring to the engineering degree as a thing that you get and go get a job with? Or are you referring to engineering as a set of skills or a way of seeing the world that you're able to solve problems through? That's going to make a huge difference. If you're thinking of whether an engineering degree that you can obtain and go to a company and have them hire you and you work there for a career and you spend your whole life saving money, that's probably not going to make you rich or at least not rich maybe by the time you're in your like 60s it'll make you millionaire rich it's definitely not going to make you billionaire rich getting an engineering degree and going to get a job with it and working that job for the rest of your life is not going to make you rich all right on the other hand engineering the set of skills the way of seeing the world the way of solving problems the way of acquiring knowledge yeah that can actually make you filthy rich like billionaire rich now the billion dollar question is how can engineering make you rich well, I'm glad you asked. Well, first I want to ask you, how do you think people who are super rich were able to get rich? For example, let's take Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, who are practically self-made. How did they do that? We see that SpaceX was able to solve the problem of commercial spaceflight and being able to launch reusable rockets that dirt cheap. Likewise, Tesla was able to take electric cars and make them look really cool and competitive, where electric cars used to look like this, and now they look like this. So SpaceX solved the problem of commercial spaceflight. Tesla solved the problem of having cool electric vehicles that are affordable. And Amazon solved the problem of a very customer service oriented shopping experience through the internet. Now, if you notice, the one common theme is that they solved a problem. They gave the people what they need. Now, how does engineering come into this? Well, as an engineering, you're literally receiving training and problem solving. From the very first physics class that you're taking, you're trained on how to take a problem, isolate variables, and identify what it is that requires solution. Now, a much better engineer will start looking around and say, hey, I think there's a problem there. I think there's a problem there. How can I go on about solving them? And when it comes to really entrepreneurship or starting a company, the whole idea of starting a company is the company is solving some problem that the people need, that people are willing to pay a sum of money for that. In exchange for the money and services, you're able to get rich. Now, you don't have to be an engineer to go start a company or build something or sell something that people need. But the idea is that an engineering training gives you the optimal set of skills in order to identify and solve problems. Now, if you take that and you couple it with the ability to go and talk to people, communicate with other people, build a team, have a vision, have self-discipline, be able to execute, well, that's what Elon Musk is. And if you go and take a look at every successful startup or company, you'll see that they likely solved a problem that was very much in demand. And again, solve a problem, which is the core of engineering. Now, obviously, most of, many of them are not engineers. They just develop the ability to solve problems and other methods. But training in engineering gives you that edge. Getting an engineering degree and getting a job with it, that's kind of the slow lane. That's not likely getting rich until you're much later in life if you're able to save and invest and do all that cool stuff. But if you're able to take your engineering skills and go the entrepreneurship route, then that's that can make you filthy rich. I wanted to make this video because a lot of people go into engineering for the idea that they're gonna make money and you can, but you're just likely gonna be disappointed through the regular job route. Although you probably need to go through a regular job before you go in and start a company because you need to build skills and expertise and make connections. For example, Jeff Bezos was 30 years old when he quit his job and he went on to start Amazon. All right, and lastly, I want to talk about getting rich and happiness or money and happiness because i have a very strong perspective on that i mean i'm 24 years old i'm almost 25 and i'm still a broke phd student i'm making like thirty thousand dollars a year now i know that for me the opportunity cost is i could be making like hundred something thousand dollars every year to working at some corporate job some tech company but i value the things that i'm learning in my phd so much that i'm willing to take the pay cut and the amount of money i make may not sound like it's a lot in the moment but it's all i need it gives me comfortable living clothing and food and water i can buy whatever food I want and I can buy my cat the best food out there. And what that gives me, it gives me all the freedom and time to be able to explore things that I truly enjoy and be able to make videos for you guys. I mean, how amazing is that? So this is more personal advice. You decide, take it or not. Money is important, but don't prioritize money. If I were to give you advice, I would say instead of money, focus on learning. That's probably going to give you better long-term success. But anyway, if you're curious on where I got my slow lane, fast lane, get rich fast, get rich slow ideas, I highly recommend you read this book called The Millionaire Fast Lane by M.G. DeMarco. It's an amazing book and it's going to basically teach you everything you need to know about getting rich.